Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on def restore default file context. So this is in the, as in uh, the file context of SE Linux. So um, it's essentially another continuation of the SE Linux se series. Um, so yeah, we'll just go through again quickly what the different car file contexts are. And I will show you how to change the context and also how to do the res restoration and how you can do that recursively as well. So as always, let's go into a terminal and let's sudo bash. Okay, so as I mentioned in the last video, you can view the current context using ls minus capital Z and you can see all the different contexts are listed on the left here. This is the files and the folders, and then you've got the context here. So we've got unconfined, so it's not confined to a particular user, and just an object and it's, uh, as a role, and then user home is the type, and this is the level, so it's level zero. So um, how do we actually change that? So we can use the ch tron, so ch tron, which is uh, change context, and then we just specify the context. So let's go on confined user. Let's just do object underscore r, and then let's say I don't know. Let's do temp type, and then a zero, and then the file. So let's make that change. So if I do an ls minus z, we can now see the Kafka file, as I specified, has got a different context. Let's just do that again. So this Kafka file has got a different context of temp underscore t as a type. As a type. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, say so they've done that, and now it's broken it. So how do we fix that? So probably the Quickest and easiest way is to do the restore con, so that will restore it to whatever the default is. So that can get you out of trouble, especially if it's system files or a particular application. It may um, it may be aware of the application and be able to restore it correctly. But obviously, as with a lot of SE Linux commands, um, use those with caution. So restore con will rest restore it to the default. So you just do restore con and the file don't really get much output it's pretty straightforward so if we do an ls minus capital z we now have that restored back to the default and also just to mention you can do restore con and then do a minus capital r and you can then specify a directory so let's do document say and that will restore the uh, context for the whole um, directory and any files inside that directory as well. So it do recursively essentially. Uh, yeah, that pretty much covers that. Um, so so I'll just mention as always, there's the man pages for these. So it's man, uh, ch, ch, on, and you've got the man pages there and all the different options. You've got a man page for restore con, yeah, and then you have info pages as well for these as well. So if, this, if you're not sure on any of the command line, you can always look it up here. And I find it very helpful a lot of time. Okay, first thing I just want to say before the video, I close the video, um, just say a massive thank you to everyone that subscribed because um, I've now reached the 1,000 subscriber goal, which is absolutely fantastic. It's, um, it's what one of my main aims have been to get with this channel. So I uh, really appreciate everyone's uh, subscription. And and I just want to reach the next goal now. Um, so guys, um, if you haven't subscribed already, please um, click subscribe un uh, underneath. Um, and while you're there, you might as well hit the bell icon to get notified of any new videos as well. Um, if you do like enjoyed this video, please like the, like the video. It, it helps um, boost my rating up in YouTube. And also, um, just now, just popped the um, ways you can help me out. So, I've got the Kofi page for any small donations. So, essentially, 
Kofi as in buy me a coffee. Um, so if you if that's something you're uh, interested in doing, please um, please uh, buy me a coffee. That'd be fantastic. We've also got my Tee Public. Um, got some shirts and all kinds of other merchandise. If that's something you're interested in, um, and then finally I've just put my Discord um, server details there. So if that's something again that's something you're interested in, um, asking me more in-depth questions, um, I will link I have linked that in the description as well. So yeah, all the links are in the description. Also some more information about the command line I've provided here, and also my website as a link. Um, to check that out so yeah thanks again for your subscription and uh, viewing this video so catch you next one